So the excessive heat warning, it actually does extend to areas like Enchanted Rock okay. into those areas, but a few more counties included for us here closer to home as well in North Texas. And this has also been extended in time. It's now until 8 p.m. Wednesday, so another day. We'll likely see some type of heat alert extended in the days to come. Uh, but if you're not under that warning, you're under a heat advisory. Either way, the heat index expected to be over 105 a majority of the afternoon across all of North Texas. Dangerous heat across every county for today. It's only 11 16 and it's 95 degrees out. 96 is the average daytime high temperature this time of the year. We're already there. 101 is what it feels like when you factor in the humidity. Our wind is out of the southwest today. That's going to play a factor in how much our temperature climb and climbs and I'll get to that. Uh, but out of, of the southwest 10 to 20 miles per hour. Fort Worth, one of those locations where the heat index is already at 103. The actual temperature is 97. Today, we make it to 101 around 1, 105 at 3, 107 around 5 this afternoon. Now, this technically hotter than yesterday. A lot of locations in the Metroplex getting somewhere between 106 to 107 today. Slightly higher for our western counties. I'm thinking closer to about 111 for Mineral Wells, Graham, Breckenridge, and even east of DFW. We're talking 105 for Sulphur Springs and 107 in Greenville. So yesterday was the hottest day of the year. 106 last year we actually reached 109 but 106 the hottest temperature so far the record was 109 set in 1980 this brings our total to 11 days of triple digit heat days for this year normal to date is about six so we are well above that we're nowhere near to where we were this time last year though and that streak does continue 107 today 105 on Wednesday, 103 Thursday and 101 on Friday. Now the reason why I think we could see temperatures slightly higher today than yesterday is because of a southwest wind that's going to bring in slightly drier air. We still have a heat index, but slightly drier air does climb at a faster rate, and I think that's why we'll make it closer to 107 for this afternoon. The heat index will still be at about 110. We do see some relief this weekend in the form of a cold front that does arrive early in the weekend, but it's not just North Texas. Most of the state is under some type of heat alert today and a lot of locations in the south dealing with this intense heat. Phoenix, for example, today will likely pick up its 19th day with temperatures over 110 degrees. El Paso triple digit heat for the last 32 days today, likely the 33rd day. And even in Miami, the heat index is over 100. That means really high humidity there, and that's happened for the last 37 days. Here's what's happening. Those heat alerts are all being brought on by an area of high pressure. North of that jet stream, we have air quality alerts that continue for portions of the Midwest into the Northeast due to Canadian uh, smoke coming in. So the wildfire smoke coming in from Canada. That area of high pressure, by the way, is going to eventually move over North Texas here today. It'll continue to strengthen, and that really happens over the next several days. Eventually, that'll scoot back towards the west. We have a front coming in, and that's what's going to bring us uh, some relief Saturday and Sunday with a small potential for rain. So again, dangerous heat does extend the remainder of the week. Morning lows only in the low 80s, Cleo, so uh, we're not recovering too much during the overnight hours, unfortunately. It just looks hot and steamy. Absolutely. It stays right. that way. <laughs> Thanks, Mario.